Question 1. Solve for x and represent the answer on a number line and in interval notation. Minus 2 times x minus 2 is less than or equal to x plus 1. To simplify this inequality, we use a similar method as we would in equations. First, get rid of the brackets by multiplying the minus 2 into the brackets, so we get minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. That is less than or equal to x plus 1. As we would with the equations, we move the variables to one side and the numbers to the other side. Also keep in mind to change the sign when moving across an inequality just as you would in an equation. Doing this we get minus 2x minus x is less than equal to 1 minus 4. Minus 2x minus 1x is minus 3x. Minus 3x is less than equal to 1 minus 4 which is negative 3. We need to divide this inequality by a negative sign, so remember to change the sign. When we divide through by minus 3, the sign is going to change to greater than or equal to. Therefore, we get minus 3 divided by minus 3 will give you 1x is greater than or equal to minus 3 divided by minus 3, which is 1. The solution is x is greater than or equal to 1 are all the range of values from and including 1 till infinity. Let's represent this on a number line. Use a closed dot to show that the number 1 is included and draw a line with an arrow to the right side indicating that x is greater than or equal to 1. So it can take on the value of any number from 1 onwards. Now let's represent this answer in interval notation. x is an element and because we're including the start point 1, we use square brackets. So x starts from 1, including 1, and goes all the way to infinity. We cannot include infinity, so we use round brackets.